When I was young, I used to wonder if the Tooth Fairy was real. Am I real? Can I ride on a rainbow? I want to play more and sleep less. Is everyone else a robot? I used to think that other than myself, everyone else was a robot. It didn't make sense, but it was something I always had nightmares about. I once had a dream where my parents slowly turned their heads 180 degrees and said, we made you as a science experiment. I still remember it. I'm now older, surprise. I'm now a teenager, surprise. Life is harder, surprise. School is harder too, surprise. Now I'm applying for a job. Now I know what love is. And now I'm overwhelmed by puberty. I used to wonder if, if the tooth fairy was real. Yeah, right. I once saw my parents hiding the money under my pillow. Am, Am I, I real? real? I still don't know. Can I ride? On a rainbow? No. I want to play more. And sleep less. But now, I want to sleep. And sleep. And sleep. And sleep. And, and sleep. Dang Young is awesome. Because? Because you can eat. So you can't eat when you're old? Mm. Well, of course you can, but when you're old, you can only eat fast food. Then are old people fat? Well, no, some are skinny, but the rest are old. Because? Because, hmm. Because they have money. Uh, and I've never heard a kid ask so many questions before. What does that have to do with anything that we were talking about? Anyway. So we're poor? Yeah. But I have 75 cents. And Mama said that 75 is a lot. And Mama also said that I can be rich with 75 cents. Your mom is such a liar. And she only said that because you're a kid. Hmm, so am I a kid? A kid! Free! I'm a kid! What do you even think a kid is? Hmm, me? Dunno, what is it? What else do you think a kid is? You? Me? That person over there? Or is it that? Dot, dot, dot. What? Do you need to go pee? What? Uh-oh, looks like she didn't need to go pee after all. She's going to kill me just because she's mad. Run away! Huh? Why'd she run away? Hopefully she'll find her way home. Once upon a time, we were all just little seeds beneath the soil, shielding us from the harsh rain that was the reality of life. Grade one, and we built towers out of marshmallows and toothpicks. Grade two, we built boats out of plastic bottles. Grade three, we learned how to multiply. Grade four, that was the year the words est-ce que je peux aller aux toilettes became a permanent part of my vocabulary. The year I made lifelong friends and learned that blue and green smelly markers were sacred. Skip to grade six, where we built a cardboard fort, which we lovingly named the Hobo Shack, and bam, 11 years gone. The little seed that was once safely guarded began to sprout, new gained knowledge of the world, feeding its thirst to grow up. The view we once had of a simple happy world crumbles, leaving our little plant to face the wind and rain. That was really just a metaphor for stress and pain. And then we fall into grade seven, not knowing how to act, where stress and broken friendships cut you like a knife. The year that determines who you are for the next stage of your life. Trying to change when you know that you're a daisy amongst tulips. When waves of tests come your way, drowning you as you try and make it to the next day, and then grade eight. 
learning about the Renaissance and 47 Ronin, trying to memorize every country in Asia while dealing with the depression that comes from toxic friendships, still trying to figure out who I am. Looking out into this vast sea where all I see is the water and sky, no answer in sight. And so there I see a little light and I realize it's okay if the world is full of tulips because to me, a daisy is perfectly right. Life is full of wonder. I travel a lot to find myself. I was told to live without mistake. But life is hard. Time is so fast. I cry. I smile. I lose. I win. Sometimes happy, sometimes sad. For this moment. That moment is life. This is my analogy for life. Add your blooming kindness and the jungle of emotions inside you. Subtract the Jenga tower of doubts and regrets. I feel like I'm rushing into growing up like a tidal wave, being fueled by every trip, by every stutter, and by every harsh criticism being thrown at you like darts flying through the air, flames licking at my heels, the beads of sweat rolling down my face faster than I can pick the shards of myself up after being mocked pushed around the pit of an inside joke. Multiply the beads of sunlight and wildflowers. Divide the bitter seed being planted, being watered day by day as I cautiously enter this foreign country with everyone speaking the same language that I don't seem to understand and I can't seem to comprehend. Don't forget to carry the one, to carry the morals, the lessons, and the curtsies so engraved into my mind, like it was carved into stone, yet it seems to be crumbling, the facade of smiles crashing down. Why is that? Why are the rules changing? Why are these expectations raising? Growing up sucks, and I know many of you have experienced it firsthand. We want to keep being a kid. As a kid, everything goes my way. Well, unless you have siblings, then it gets rough. And when you're young, you're surrounded with love. And you can cry your way out of messes. 
And also, as a kid, your parents feed you so you can be all lazy and be like a boss. And as a kid, you have a full imagination. But no offense to the adults, but most mostly, of you guys have lost it. Now, there are some benefits of being an adult, but you have to admit, being, being a kid, kid is one of the best, best parts, parts of, of life. As I grow up, I don't get noticed as much. But as a kid, I get all the attention. Growing up sucks, and, and you, you can't, can't deny it. it. Whenever my mom gets us to go on a really fun adventure, I realize I don't need an adventure to give me that once in a lifetime Amazon rainforest expedition. My family can give me that sensational happy moment. And when I think about it, my family is that expedition. As a kid, I grow up knowing and loving my surrounding family. As I grow up, so does family. Depressing moments, like when I've gotten hurt 
or if my parents don't allow me to do one thing. Happy and fun moments, like a birthday, or a celebration, or maybe it's just a joy. And learning moments, like when I've done something wrong, or if I'm wondering about a particular topic. These are all given by my precious family, and that will naturally give me growth physically and emotionally. But when I talk family, I don't want to grow up because I don't want my family to grow up. I wouldn't want my family members to leave me, leaving me crying for days, weeks, months, and years to come. I love them. I love my family. And then I realize I can't stop time. Sadly, I have to grow up and live through it. But I can't. I won't. Because I don't ever want to grow up. My grandparents, so wise and loving, give me lessons and advice, which I always cherish. But even as I grow up, even as a child, I realize life is short. I realize family is my adventure and my everlasting expedition of life. I grow up, they grow up. And then I know growing up isn't that bad if you get a different feeling every now and then. I know you've got the best intentions, just trying to find the right words to say. I promise I already learned my lesson, but right now I don't want to be okay. Why does growing up have to feel like a bad thing? Everything we learned when we were little, we're just passing. Even if the world's pulling me down, I'm still understanding and facing and thinking about everything in this world that has meaning. But it still doesn't change the way I feel about growing up. Should I give up? It feels like a breakup. Hold up. This is messed up. What are you trying to tell me what you think is best for me? Because when I needed it most, life wasn't there for me. I just feel like everything in this world is against me, and that's a fact. No matter what I do, I always cause a bad impact. But still, I wish I could go back when my young moments weren't just a flashback. But stop this. This is whack. Let me retrack before I get sidetracked. This, this is, is my, my part growing, growing up unhappy. unhappy. It isn't easy. You think it's pretty silly or crazy. But on the contrary, this rap is spoken truly. I'll think I'll have mercy. And here's the summary. These, These were just the words from, from a memory. memory. Life. There really is no final definition of life. One person might see it as a place to be creative and realize it's short and should enjoy it while they still can. While others might see it as a depressing place and they wish that they never experienced it. These perspectives would be labeled as happy and sad. What is happy? Is happy good, like, I got a new puppy and I'm so happy? Or could happy be bad, like, I would be much happier if she was dead? What is good and bad? Can bad be good? Can good be bad? Could you describe something to be both or neither? I've come to realize having a good life and being happy is society's way of saying life is perfect. What is perfect? Is there even a definition of perfect? Who invented perfect? Are they perfect? Why does society get to choose whether I'm perfect or not? Society's not perfect, and neither am I, because I'm part of society. Perfect is used to point out people's flaws. Flaws can be good, but that stupid seven-letter word says otherwise. You know what? I can live a good life and be happy without having to be perfect. In apparently activating, adorable baby, I'm barfing ballistically. Buying embraces? Crawling. Crapping. Crying in my crib constantly. Daily damage. Diminishing dad's dough. Energetic eating. An enormous eyesore. My funny farts flailing faster than fire. I'm godly greatly growing goofily. Hysterical hanging out. Heck, how do I cope? I'm interested in everything. My intimidating imaginations impatiently interrupting important information. Jordans, Jay-Z, Jekyll, just a journey. I'm just jumping joyfully. 
kind of comfortable, kindly cooperating. Knowledge is key. Lessons, lame losers, look like losing liberators. Marvelously making marshmallows. Man, making marshmallows. I'm making more misconceptions per move. Need nice nurse naps. New neighbors neglecting new nice neighbors. Optical optimists over out on jobs. Psh, my parental permissions. Positive people perfectly perfecting powerful punchlines. Quivering queens and kings questioning quick quotes. Rigged ripped reformists redoing wrecked rebels. Super scientists soundproofing soft spoons surgically seeing soft summers. Tender teammate, technically thought to be retired. The united, uncut, unadulterated union. Updated, urgently under unicorns. Voluminous victims, vanishing vaguely. As I weave words, wow, what a wonder. X-rays, xylophone, expecting excruciating radiation. Young yellow yakkers, yanking on youth. Zooming zeros, zip past the zone of life.